Welcome back, my loyal subscribers. So, today I'm not showing my face, but that's because I'm gonna teach you how you can layer presets in Lightroom. You know how Instagram has these neat filters? Well, sometimes those filters may add a slight detail that you can actually incorporate in your work. So, based on that, I found some presets that someone developed to imitate these Instagram presets and they, I uploaded them into my Lightroom. So I imported them into my Lightroom and next I'm looking for a video to see if someone made a tutorial on how to stack presets because as you know when you put a preset on a on a file on Lightroom uh, if you put another one over it let's say you change the exposure with one preset if the other second preset has exposure changed it will change it to the latest one so in essence you can't stack presets without overriding a previous setting you have clicked in there so this is really once you have the image as you want it to look and you want to add an Instagram looking preset over that without changing anything that you have done. That's what I'm going to show you. So first off, I save this time. Once you finish editing the photo that you want, you need to save it as a TIFF file. So I have done that with three sample images right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and open these in Lightroom and then I'll show you. This is very simple. This is meant to be a, a short video. So let's go through this. I'm going to import all right these are the three tiff files that we're going to work with i'm going to put none for now so you can see so i have imported the file as a tiff this tiff has the fully edited correct color corrections and exposure corrections that i wanted at my taste so let me show you that first all these loads and this will work with any preset. I'm just using Instagram as an example. All right, so these are the edits as I would have done them. But uh, Instagram has very in interesting presets. Or if I had a, a different preset that may bring out a certain detail or color tone that I really like, I want to be able to add that to this. So by saving, by exporting this as a TIFF file, which would be like this, TIFF. I am now able to apply something over it. As you see right here, nothing is applied because this is the image as is. It's not taking into account any changes that I had made. So now I'm going to go over to my filters. This is the Clarendon that I really like. So I'm going to click on it and boom! Instagram filter over it from your computer. Ready to go. So this means you can use any preset over your final image to deliver your final image with that extra touch that you want. So here, uh, whoever made this preset, they made certain changes to colors. So let's say I don't want the preset in its entirety at 100% applied. I can play with these colors to reduce the effect similar to when you're uh, adding the effect on Instagram or any other device or other uh, platform, I mean. So here I'm, I'm going to look at what change. It's mostly in the colors. Maybe there's too much blue. So you see, just subtle. So this is before, after. Just give it a that Instagrammy look, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to copy this to the other. See what happens. This is meant for you to be a little bit more creative, so you can add presets over presets. And oh, this one kind of killed it there. The highlights there don't look that great. You see, it doesn't work with every image. Maybe toning down the greens. That's the before. That's the after. Not that there was anything wrong with the original, but if you want to add an extra touch of another color, like you would in Photoshop, you would make a new layer. This is a way to get around making a new layer if you don't want to go into Photoshop or you don't have Photoshop and working strictly from Lightroom. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty straightforward and I hope it helped you so you can start combining even multiple presets if you wanted to do that. 
So yeah, stick around. I have a couple of videos coming out soon. Thanks. Yeah, boy. Thanks for the subscribes. We made it.